Get your taste buds ready. A savory favorite from the South Pacific is about to be celebrated here in Minnesota. This weekend is the first ever Lumpia Festival happening in Champlin. And joining us today are the organizers. We have Josie Schutte, owner of the Filipino restaurant Kumai Inn. Also here as well is Marla Burgos of Marla's Baked Goods. And then we have Vera Jones of Keller Williams. Thank you so much for coming in Thanks today, Thanks for having ladies. us. Yes. We're excited. Okay, tell us about the Lumpia, what it is for those who don't know. So lumpia is a Filipino egg roll. As you see, they're small um, in nature as far as um, the way it's made and the ingredients that's in it. Um, I think it it's originally came from like Indonesia, China, um, as far as uh, the inspiration of it. And then ours, the Filipino egg rolls are just uh, a little bit smaller than the big ones. Typically that we're using. veggie. Do you add meat? Meat. So some people like different different regions of the Philippines have different. Um, ways of making it. Um, mine are typically made with pork, so we do have a couple choices of pork and veggie. But there is also a little bit of veggie in there and then meat. But mostly, cool. I think with the Filipino lumpia, it's mostly pork and chicken. Cool. And, and when, they get a whole festival. Oh, well, yeah, it's worthy <laughs> of it. And when I think of it, people might think of egg rolls as just a side dish, but mm -hmm. I'm half Filipino. Growing up in Filipino car culture, lumpia is a big deal. Uh, mm -hmm. How is it, you know, what is the significance of this dish to Filipino culture? I feel like for us, it's like it's it's the whole reason why we gather as a as um, groups, friends, family. It, it like you said, it's not only just a side thing; it's also the entree. So when now that we have all these different places that are selling them, everybody gets to taste and everybody gets to experience that it's just not an appetizer; it's also an entree. Cool. And so we want to know about the festival built around this yes, dish. Yes, absolutely. Well, Filipinos, we like to party. Mm -hmm. We like to gather. <laughs> and why not have an awesome festival regarding the lumpia? And so how we really got to the how here to, on Saturday is Josie and I met a couple, what was it, probably a year ago. And it was at her opening. And I was just so excited for like another Filipina, like representing mm -hmm. a businesswoman, <laughs> not a nurse. And <laughs> My big, mom's a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> the big joke is, you know, all the women in the Philippines are nurses or caretakers. But we wanted to showcase like our business skills. And so we wanted to partner up and collaborate and like really showcase like our family tradition, what's important to us, values, and also talk about our brand and our business. And at the festival, you're not only serving lumpia. I mean, we have some other food that's going to be on display. We do have a lumpia con eating contest, yes, which sounds like that'll be yes, fun. But nice. What else Got might someone eat when they're at this festival that has a Filipino inspiration? So we actually have two food trucks, two Filipino food trucks. So nice. they're going to have a little bit something different, and then we'll have like uh, my menu is pretty uh, typical of just um, what's the word? Punsets, yeah, the punsets, punsets. skewers and are um, traditional items like party items. I feel what like are these? At a, at can a party, I yeah. interrupt and ask because these have been catching the my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. The ensamadas. What are they? So ensamadas are a Filipino dessert. It's a pastry. Oh, it's super. It's yeah, like a brioche. Okay, and it looks safe. It's really. They have, have unique fillings often oh too. Gosh. Yes, it's, they're really light. It's definitely it's, one of my favorites, like growing up. But probably one of the things that I'm looking for this weekend is halo halo. So, <laughs> if you're Filipino, you have to love halo halo. And if you're friends with the Filipino, you are introduced to halo halo. And so. with the weather we've been having, it's yep. a shaved ice dessert type mm -hmm. dish yep. with cool. fruit and, and you know, kind of like our ice cream in a way. Yes. Um, but it. It, there's also going to be some cultural performances, different things going on. I mean, it's not only food for people to experience, too, at the fest. Well, we wanted to showcase just a little bit, not too much just of the bit, culture. Yeah. So, Tinikling is a big, it's the dance with the bamboo sticks. So, mm -hmm. we have um, the Cultural um, Society of the Filipino Association that's coming to demonstrate that. And then hip-hop and breakdancing is a big um, thing in our culture as well. At least it was in, like, the... 80s and we like to, we like to yeah. eat and we like to dance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Singing, like dancing. Good time. Yes. And, and the contest. I'm going to jump in and grab one of these. And while she's trying that, yes. I think it's, it's, it's great to note, and Erin and knows this because she visited a Filipino restaurant mm -hmm. recently, Calzada. Mm -hmm. that it, it's not, oh this God. is kind of a new thing seeing Filipino restaurants in the Twin Cities. So for someone that hasn't tried Filipino food, because back in the day there weren't many, now we have these options, what would you say to them about trying this food? Go for it. Go for I mean, it's you really have, good. Yeah, you have many options, which is amazing. You know, like you said, growing up, there was maybe one or two, and 
you know, maybe it was there for a couple of years and then it all of a sudden it disappeared. And now all of a sudden there's like six or seven of them and it's amazing. It's, yeah. it's just, what I think is complimentary too, to is um, it's not too spicy and it's not mm -hmm. too sweet. It's so just good. like a fusion of like goodness. And yeah. so everyone loves it. I'm yeah. on the Lumpia train too. now. Yeah. Thanks ladies. Lumpia yeah. Festival yeah. is happening you. Saturday at the Mississippi Crossings River Center in Champlin. Goes from 11 to 6 and it's free to attend. We'll have more details about the event on WCCO.com.